Girl Tribe Gaming Podcast on. We said it. Podcast on. Hello and welcome to Girl Tribe Gaming, a podcast mostly about video games. I'm Zen. And I'm Jen. And welcome to episode 15. Yay, yo. <laughs> so, Zen, <laughs> I had a dream about you last night. You were in my dream. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I had this I dream and now. I woke up. I was like, ah, oh, Zen's so helpful. You, like, did the dishes and you helped a vacuum. I helped the vacuum? You helped vacuum. I helped vacuum. Like- well, so, but then after I sat there for a second, I realized you didn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> See, so now I remember clearly what happened was, for whatever reason, you know, we don't even live in the same state, but you were no. you were at my house. You were doing the dishes. You were like, you had soap suds, dish liquid soap suds everywhere. Like on what the were counter. you doing this entire time? I was working my butt off in your dream. I have no idea. I was probably playing video game. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, you had soap suds everywhere. And then I realized you had loaded the dish. Like, I don't know why you washed them. And then you like left them sudsy. Then you put mm-hmm. them in the dishwasher. And I was like, uh, that's going to make a mess. You're like, why? It's just soap. <laughs> oh my. So did the then, dishwasher explode then in the, in the I don't, dream? I don't remember, but because I got distracted, so I have one of those Neato vacuums. It's kind of like a Roomba, but okay. I like I like it better. And you're like, oh yeah, I have Neato vacuuming, but with Neato <laughs> you have to like pick up or it'll run <laughs> over stuff, you know. <laughs> and in my yeah. dream, there was like. All this random stuff that would never be on my floor, on the floor, and it was like traversing towards it. And I was like, No, it, you didn't, it's gonna get jammed up. And you and didn't understand. Like, Meh, you, were like, you, you were like, It'll run over. <laughs> <laughs> so, that sounds about right. If I was to clean your house, I would just be like making a mess in the kitchen and then. I'd probably be trying to ride the Roomba or whatever the heck that thing yeah, was. Yeah, I don't even know why you were helping so much. But thank you. But no, thank nope. you. <laughs> that so, is funny. <laughs> I don't know why you're showing up in my dreams. Maybe it's because you have been MIA the last couple weeks getting ready for your very first Comic-Con. Yeah, so, that my very first Comic-Con and my very first time having a booth. At a Comic Con, <laughs> yeah. So you should tell everyone what where you were at and what you were doing. Uh, we were at the Wizard World Comic Con in Chicago, mm-hmm. and uh, Rai and I we repurpose old comics into journals for sketching and writing in. So we were selling all those guys at that comic at that convention. So yeah. it went really well. It was a blast. Terrifying. I love oh the my pictures. Gosh. You're you're gonna post more on our Facebook page? Oh yeah, we'll have um I'll make a little album of all like the cosplayers and everything. There are some great cosplays. Yeah, that's cosplays my favorite. I love that. So Yeah, so I'll make an album, so go mm-hmm. check that out on our Facebook page. Yeah, it's just girl tar- Facebook.com slash girl tribe gaming. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm I mean I'm I love the whole vibe of conventions. Everybody's just so friendly. And it's like a utopia. Yeah. Of, of geeky, geeky nerds running around being themselves and everybody being happy. <laughs> yeah. You know, I was really happy that you were having your booth. Like, I've been so excited. Like, I'm in it. Like, I have something to do with it. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I didn't know that you had never even been to, like, a convention, like a Comic-Con. No, the only convention I've been to is in pa- for PAX in Seattle. Which was fun. That was fun. Same vibe. Just awesome people. So if you guys haven't been to a convention, go to a convention. Yeah. Every... Be with your people. Be with your your geeks. I mean, every city has them now. You know, I act like I'm all experienced. I just went to my... I went to the Emerald City Comic Con uh, last year with Shadow Wolf. And Mm -hmm. it was fun. We waited in line to get some celebrity autographs. Elijah Dushku, things like that. And it was That's fun. Awesome. Yeah. I wish I, I want to cosplay, though. 
like look at seeing these people how much they get into their role i, I can want see you to totally. like walk around yeah i could see totally getting into that that's what we were thinking for our next convention we want to do something simple that's easy to move in so mm-hmm. rye's gonna be dexter and then i would be yeah. deb oh fun. that would be perfect you guys could totally do that rye looks yeah. like dexter a little bit. So, and I already bought him the Dexter Kill shirt just oh. for the heck of it. So he has that. Yeah. So. You know, you kind of do look a little bit like Deb. You guys I think could... if I just put some glasses on and really straighten the heck out of my hair. Yeah. Well, well <laughs> are you going to be Deb like when she's in her cop? Like her, like. De- like... Yeah. Oh. Like, I yeah, normally kind of dress like Deb anyway. So it's just me carrying a gun and having a badge. Yeah. So. <laughs> I can pull that off. Wait, so you guys are going to cosplay yourselves, basically, except for the murder. Well, Rye's not a, I don't yeah, believe serial he's a killer. Unless he is and you don't know it. Well, yeah. you wouldn't if he's. It could be. Oh, so, gosh. Hmm. Who knows? It, you know. I'll have to question him after you this. You guys do spend a lot of time at the lake. Well, you we're could not be dropping dead off bodies, bodies into the water. You don't know what he could be doing that. I'm. Deb didn't Weird. know forever about her brother, so just uh, saying. Well, I can't talk about this no more, or I'm <laughs> going to get myself into trouble. <laughs> so yeah, Wizard World was awesome. I am hoping to get back into gaming, because as you know, these past few weeks have been insane. I have been neglecting Girl Tribe. Yes, you've been away. Really We've crazy. missed you. You've not played any games. No. Mm-mm. Not really. But, but what have you been playing? <laughs> Tell never. me about what's happening in the gaming world so I can just, like, imagine playing games. I've been playing everything. I've been a little obsessed. Almost too much. As you know, no. I haven't been sleeping. So No. You, God, oh my God. I can't get over how I've got three days in a row. Oh, no. I had two days in a row this weekend, and I slept. But uh, So I've been playing a ton of Forza 5. Lots mm-hmm. of it. And I've just been snapping TV or something because, you know, it gets a little pe- repetitive. And I've, I'm have i one achievement away in the Defiance game. Almost done. Almost done. And then I took a plunge with a game that I told myself I wasn't going to buy. Which one? Um, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, the ultimate evil edition on Xbox One. Why is it ultimately evil? Uh, what makes I, it so evil? Well, I, I've never ever played Diablo before, um, but I guess it just has the DLC from the 360, and it's ultimately evil. Ooh, do you like it? I do like it. I was apprehensive about it because it is more of a top-down RPG. This, okay, that's what I was wondering. I was like, yeah, I, I don't think it's a game for me. I don't think Diablo. it is either. It's not. Hmm. But um, it's really cool. You have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six different classes. Um, A crusader, barbarian, you could be a witch doctor, demon hunter. She's cool looking. Monk, or and the monk's really cool too, and wizard. And um, a goose, goose 1215, or is it 1415? Let's just call her a goose. Goose. Uh, she was asking, you know, so far, which class am I liking best? And I'd have to say I've only played two, two characters, but I like this barbarian chick. She's like a uh, real close range, you know, she's got like crazy combos and stuff. So that's who I'm liking. Interesting. I tried being uh-huh. a monk when I was playing with people. A monk? A monk? Yeah, and I can heal them. But the oh, thing yeah, is, you're all about healing people. And I know. Like, I you're always be, the medic. I am. I, I asked Shadow, I was like, which one can I heal? That's who I want to be. But the thing is, we're playing on normal, and nobody's getting hurt bad enough to need me. So, this is interesting. Since you're always the medic, uh-huh. why why do you, do you just like saving people? Like, I don't know. In why are you games, always the medic? I don't know. Like, in Plants vs. Zombies, we're playing... Uh, like last week, I was the little uh, sunflower, and I was yeah. healing oh my everybody. But, but uh, I will say about the Diablo mm. thing, I didn't, I wasn't going to get into it. I was just, you know, I know Destiny's right around the corner. It looks time intensive, but it is fun. It's something I can just pick up and play. 
even Mm -hmm. and then um you know dealing with your abilities and armor and all that it's real easy the menus are really easy to use on the console and i guess it has an adventure mode the story mode and adventure mode but you have to finish story mode to see what adventure mode is so i don't know Um, that's weird that's a bummer, you know. But way. it's cool as you can gift items to people. Uh-huh. So, like, I've got some friends who are, like, really good at the game and have played it and experienced. And they've transferred their 360 characters over to the one. So yeah. they're sending me nice stuff. And then... That's um, cool. Yeah, I love loot. So feel free to send Moto Girl, M-O-T-O-G-R-R-L, there's a space, send me all the loot you want. <laughs> she collects anything she's a hoarder really in video games yeah but it's fun i i would say for you zen you won't like it nah i'm mm-mm. super i tried i tried to get her to play it no if super don't like it i'm not gonna play it so yeah. that's how i roll i got a fun game for you that i played though a new one which one what's it's called Ooh. fibbage <gasps> is it on your phone or is no. it on the xbox well it's both <gasps> It's it's F I B B A G E and it's made by the people that you did uh you don't know Jack. Ooh, okay. And so okay, so you're on Xbox about, you're reeling me in here. Xbox One, only six ninety nine. Okay. And do you, have you heard of it? No, but i it's almost a hook line and sinker. Okay, right now. so it's fun. It's a game that you wanna lie. You're trying to, like, lie and bluff your way to winning. So what happens is um, it asks a question and leaves a a blank, right? I should have brought an example. It will leave a blank, and you type in what that answer is going to be. But you, like, make up lies. Like, unless you just happen to know what it is, that is an achievement. But you make up a lie of what, what you think other people would actually click on and choose oh. and then if you trick them and they select your answer as the real answer then you get points so is it like a four four person game okay it's this is the only thing i don't like it's one to eight players but mm-hmm. it's all local oh, okay now i'm swimming away I okay well, well, hold game. on hold on hold on now you use your phone you don't use your controller so, like, this is what happens. You open up the game, and it says, this is your room number. And you go to, like, fibbage.com or whatever, and you put in your room number. And then everybody that wants to play in that game with you puts in the room number. And up to eight people can join, and you, you play from your phone or your computer or tablet. And well, then how is it hooked up to the Xbox? The Xbox is only local? So you, you would sign in on your Xbox, mm-hmm. and only you would get achievements. So, like, if you were there and Rye was sitting next to you and he's playing, um, even if he was signed into live on your console, only you would get the achievements. This is where the downer is. And you can't play on live. So, it's a good party game for at home. Well, that's stupid. It's fun, though. I have have friends here. You guys are my friends. I know. Soup and I, well, we got it thinking that we could play on live. And so, we were playing and we took turns signing in uh, for each other. Um, so that we could each get achievements. The achievements are crazy easy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but I want to. I, I know mm, it's mm-mm. fun. It's really. I, I'll post a YouTube video on the show notes. You should watch it. It sounds like a good drinking game. I'm sure you can make it into a drinking game. <laughs> it's sure, it's a lot of fun though. Um, it's just that you have to have people over at your house. I had the idea. I was like, oh, I could Twitch it and get people on Twitch to sign into my room and play. But if I stream it, there's always that like little lag. You know, it's like a 30, 45 second lag. So it's not going to yeah. work. The no. only other way I could think of is if we were in a party on Xbox Live. And like I set up a room and I read you the questions and answers. But that's not Man, fun. It, it is so confusing. Why do they just not make it Xbox Live compatible? I don't know. It's the one bummer. I mean, it's only six ninety nine. If I would be willing to pay double that or something you know to have um xbox live it, it, you don't know jack they made that multiplayer maybe they'll figure it out in the future yeah if they do i'll buy it for now it sounds damn confusing to try to play with people yeah it's it, when you have people over buy the game yeah when you're yeah. like awkward it, i don't know what to do i know let's play a game that could happen yeah